good morning. Sitting here in Missouri, out here on another piece of property. Uh, gonna go ahead and uh, check our trail camera here. Rolling with the uh, stick and pick with the bushnell on top of it. Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, system there if you guys haven't used one of those before. Um, but it gives you several variations, uh, you know, where you can get your placement uh, for your trail camera views. Um, they've also, they've got these where you screw in and they've also got them, you know, for the... Uh, uh, the public land hunters um, or somebody didn't want to damage a, a tree um, They also have the strap the strap uh, ons there, you know with the ratchet straps and then there's also uh, There's also they, they also have a stick um, Several different stick models or models there. I think I actually have one of these. I'll show you show you that I try to keep several of these in my UTV just for uh, Just for upcoming projects there but here's one right there, same same kind of attachment there, um, but all you're doing is just sticking that straight into the ground, um, and that, that tends to work out pretty good. Uh, we use these a lot on our uh, crop fields um, there in Kansas, and that uh, that really, really works out well. Um, but to uh, give, give you guys a little more uh, introduction to this particular piece, um, we've got our stick ladder right there um, already placed up. I think it's about 20, 25 foot, um, and then we got a uh, M25 from Millennium. We'll be hanging up there, and then the uh, the way that this land lays is I've got a pretty good trail uh, running east and west here. A lot of deer travel this every day. Um, I've got oh several several decent deer. Uh, nothing I'm going to say I would harvest this year uh, yet uh, moving through, but this trail camera pool should tell me um, probably the uh, all the deer I've got throughout the summer um, so if if I don't end up um, you know having a big mature uh, buck that I want to harvest off here may take off a few does or you know uh, keep running the trail cameras and hunt this uh, during the rut but what I will be doing uh, along with hanging the stand I've got some mineral dirt uh, from Analogix um, those deer have been hammering that uh, I'll show you guys that real quick um, I had the uh, protein blocks sitting right here uh, we're actually done with the protein blocks for this year um, September 1st is uh, uh, my deadline uh, for the state of Missouri um, as well as uh, for the regulations um, that get your actual protein blocks but you can run mineral as long as you're not in a CWD county in the state of Missouri uh, year-round so uh, we'll get that thing going I got some extra uh, frigid forage big and beastie um, seed I'm actually gonna spread out just right in through here and then I'm gonna actually get out there in a little bit into the field um, where they were bedding maybe 15 20 yards because I don't want I want this food plot to be a kill plot so I want to be able to make a shot from that tree out there and feel confident about it so another 30 30 yards out there um that's probably pushing it about another five yards but i'm gonna go ahead and get out there a little bit just to give them a little bit more food so we'll uh, take you along with the journey and uh, introduce you to the rest of our stuff all right well this is the uh, analogic mineral dirt uh, 180 and they actually have three different versions of this they have the uh, mineral dirt and then they actually have a block um, that has the same minerals in there as well as a uh, liquid mineral so there's a uh, three different variations of that um, we use all three of them just to kind of depend on where we're sitting at uh, a lot of the times I'll use the mineral dirt um, and then uh, you know some other properties I'll uh, definitely use the uh, protein blocks and then um, on a couple of pieces of property uh, I've got the uh, liquid um, all three of those uh, products work phenomenal um, I haven't seen any difference uh, based off trail cameras um, so uh, I definitely recommend any of those um, those have got some really good uh, hopefully you guys can see that but the uh, minerals right in there um, it's a it's a great product uh, for um, you know all, all, all your deer whether it's fawns or does um, or you know even your bucks uh, they uh, have um, they have seen some additional antler growth um, on it. You know, not a whole lot, but uh, that uh, they they have uh, they have said that that, that uh, does produce some additional antler growth. Um, but we mainly run it uh, to fight against 
ADHD-like diseases. Um, we've been very thankful here all the last uh, week or so um, to get quite a few, quite a bit of rain. But you know, it was starting to really dry up on us, and you know that uh, August uh, or July and August period um, can be deadly for those deer. So we try to um, uh, get prepared as much as we can. Um, you know, but uh, regardless of the EHD, you know, this product is, is phenomenal uh, for for your deer. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, be spreading out uh, about half a bag here and then half a bag on another spot. And then we, uh, we run these, um, well, we will replenish these um, every month, uh, just, the, just the mineral sites there. And then uh, in the off season, uh, we definitely run the uh, protein blocks um, starting in May, uh, May, June, uh, July and then August, and then by August uh, 31st or September 1st, um, either of those two days, um, I've actually got all of my protein stuff out of here uh, just due to the regulations um, here in the state of Missouri. So, uh, you know, definitely look at your regulations before you put out any product. Um, you know, the state of Missouri, just for an example, um, there's some counties that are allowing uh, you to continue to put uh, mineral sites out and protein blocks out. Um, you know, the, uh, again, the mineral site you can run year long or year round, but the protein, uh, regardless, you got to be out um, by uh, two weeks prior to your first hunt. But there are CWD counties in the state of Missouri. Um, I know there are several of them uh, throughout the four state region. Uh, you know, they're really, really trying to uh, get people to uh, stop using mineral um, just because of the conservation department's uh, view. So, um, you know, just make sure you check on your uh, regulations on that. Uh, we'll uh, get this stuff in the ground and move on to setting the tree stand. Well, we got the uh, M25 from Millennium out of the uh, Ranger there. Um, touch a little bit on this stand. Uh, these uh, these products from Millennium are phenomenal. Um, they've got a really nice seat um, there. Uh, very well made. Uh, very durable, dependable. Um, you know, I think these are probably uh, one of the safest stands on the market. Um, one of the key components, why I say that, is this actual chain right here. Uh, you know, it's a lot harder to uh, break a chain or metal than it is to, for a ratchet strap, you know, to uh, um, either rip off the tree or, you know, a squirrel eating through it. Um, but what you do on that is you uh, hang that, you hang your tree stand, wrap that chain around there, and then there's a hook on the end so it's a snug tight feeling. Then come back through with your ratchet strap um, and, you know, then tighten it up. And as you tighten it, you know, if you can get that next uh, chain in there definitely do it um, but we take uh, take our stands down um, every uh, um, every year and then we leave them there in the uh, shop um, until uh, about this time you know uh, mid-august to uh, uh, late august um, so i don't have my stuff um, out there uh, year round in the woods um, now i do keep uh, some of my uh, ladders um, out there I'm not super worried about them um, all you gotta do is replace the uh, tree, uh, or the ratchet straps on those. Um, another key component that we use um, is the uh, hunter safety uh, uh, hanger harness here. Um, the last uh, last video, I know I've uh, I've touched on that um, a little bit, but uh, these things I can't can't say enough about them. Um, you know, they're they're great for your safety. Um, I think everybody needs to have one of these uh, when you're um, hanging your your stand. Alrighty, well, uh, we are ready to hang the tree stand. Um, we've got our uh, uh, bow strap here, or our bow line uh, that we'll be using to, uh, to pull up the tree stand, as well as uh, using this um, to get our uh, bow up here this fall. Uh, but our very first step is to uh, loosen this up, and then I will get this thing around that tree. Get 
that straight there and then take that next uh, parachute clamp there and then make sure you tighten those things up that way you're always uh, attached to that tree um, and then my next step and I try to keep it about like this um, you know that way I'm fairly tied against that tree and uh, what this will allow me to do is once I get up there I'll actually be hands free uh, when it's when I'm prepared to uh, get that tree stand um, hung so uh, the next step is I'll take my uh, lifeline a smaller lifeline uh, get it around the tree there so that way I'm connected and then I take this so take the one that's got the uh, um, I'll then go ahead and call it and the new setup there uh, but what this does is it will actually attach to the back of my uh, harness here and that way I've got the middle of my body covered and the, the top that way if I do fall then I'm I am now caught from right here with this as well as right here so this thing works phenomenal um, and uh, I'll try to get up here as high as I can to show you guys um, but you just keep you just keep going up like this uh, it works really well um, I like to uh, I like to use these kind of steps um, but if you got any kind of steps you can you know I like to keep this around the center of that um, just works really well it kind of gets it out of, out of my way and everything and then as I move up I'll just continuously move this up to the next one and then I'll move here and as you uh, gain height on the tree you want to make sure that your your midsection strap is staying you know staying tight you know that tree should get smaller uh, the higher you go um, but you just keep moving up like that and um, works out really well uh, and uh, you know it's a it's a hands hands free uh, very safe way of hanging the tree stand so uh, once we get the tree stand up there show you guys the view and uh, we'll move on to the next step.
we got the uh, tree stand set up here. Um, there's our view below. Uh, got the range right there. Um, as you guys can see, right back in here, there's going to be a pretty good little spot to put that uh, frigid forward big and beastie, and then I'll line it up through it, through in throughout here, and then on back over and through here. So there's our uh, trail camera. Um, right there in the trees and you guys can see our mineral uh, site there so we've got a pretty good little pinch right through here those deer either will come right underneath us right in through here or through this opening right through here and then um, leading into that trail or there's a small little trail right back in through here um, and they'll you know they'll run east and west there works out really well um, this particular uh, stand I'll only be hunting on a uh, north wind um, just due to the fact that uh, I'm, I'm on the north edge of the le uh, this um, ridge top and um, it's just very hard to uh, hunt this in a uh, any kind of south um, south wind um, most of the deer are coming um, north of me uh, and uh, very seldom do, do any deer um, come up from the south uh, south end of this ridge so uh, we'll uh, get our uh, um, bow hanger set up here, get our uh, food plot on the ground, and then we're going to move on to a uh, uh, next uh, tree um, a tree stand there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, segment. Um, one thing uh, I did want to introduce um, to you guys, I don't know if you guys saw it when I was putting up the tree stand, was um, um, my... Uh, camo hula hoop um you know it's one that i just got from walmart but it really works out well um, when you're trying to take your tree straps around your tree um, you know instead of having to fling them over you know from the left or from the right and try to catch them with your opposite hand um you know if you'll use that hula hoop hook that um, hook at the end of that um, so you have to cut your hula hoop but if you'll hook that at the end and then just kind of thread that around that will really help out um, along with you know rolling with your uh, hanger harness so uh, again I thank everybody uh, for following us, uh, following us um, on Facebook Instagram YouTube uh, it's been uh, great to see um, the additional followers uh, this year already so we got some big plans for 2018-2019 season so hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, um, trip so far with us and uh, there'll be plenty more to come